think there's a duck that's about to attack me. He's eyeing me from the side. Good morning from the wonderful town of Sicile. Today it's just me, Vernon has work. It's Thursday morning. Sicile has their uh, weekly markets here. And today I just kind of really wanted to show you what you can get in a market, a typical Italian market here. It's here um, every Thursday. So you can kind of, what you can expect to find here. We have everything from regional to food from all over Italy. They bring in here. So check this out. One of the reasons why I really love coming to the market is everything here is super fresh, super local. I mean, half the time it's still alive. So it's just the quality. You will not find this in the supermarkets anywhere here. So I learned something interesting today. I always see in the morning older gentlemen drink white wine, especially after their coffee. So I asked one of the girls, like, is it totally normal to drink that? And she said in Friuli and Veneto, it is totally normal to have white wine in the morning. So we're gonna go with this. I never had white wine this early. It is 9.35 a.m. But you know, when you're in Sicily, when you live in Italy, you gotta be an Italian. People come to Italy and they just visit Venice or just the big cities. But I highly recommend you rent a car and just kind of drive down. We're an hour away from Venice and just check out this region. Things here are not only cheaper, but there is so much history. House made mozzarella and tomato. the other things you'll notice I think I'm probably the youngest person at this market or one of the few younger people at the market so each town in Italy has its own kind of version of this market Sicily happens to have just like a massive one there's probably got to be at least a hundred stalls this little town well it's not that little and this town alone uh one of the smaller towns around Sicily may have maybe like 10 or 12 or maybe two dozen but this is definitely one of the bigger ones It's always so amazing to see these little streets transform into an open air market every single week. And when I say you can find anything, you really can find anything here. So many options. And this is just one of the probably dozen stalls here today that has different flowers, flowers arrangements, and of course, different herbs. You can also bring your dog pretty much anywhere here. Italy, I think is number two for the most uh, dog friendly country in the world. Have the goods secured let's see what else we can get you can find all kinds of rotisserie chicken salads sausages ribs and everything's fresh everything is made here yeah, I'm, in the heart. Oh. I'm very tempted to buy a plant but vernon's not here to carry it back to the car and they had to park really far away but these are so beautiful i wonder if i can uh, make a lemon tree live I saw this guy earlier with the fresh focaccia bread and I am a sucker for good focaccia. So I want to definitely get some of that here. I do want. And they can even warm up the bread for you here. Cabra. Cheese cabra. Oh, goat cheese. Oh, spicy. Definitely spicy. My husband loves spicy. Definitely can't leave the market without getting some flowers. So I did my shopping at the market. I got fruits, vegetables, I got wine, I got meat, cheese, I got flowers, and I got amazing focaccia bread. So let me show you how ridiculous I am walking around with all the bags. This is why I need Vernon here. So if you thought we saw all of the market, we did not. There's more going down this street and even more down this street. If you made it this far, I'm about to show you what I got at the market. Of course, we have some fresh flowers, a giant amount of asparagus, apples, bell peppers, 
these strawberries she was giving some to try and they they just smell like they were picked probably this morning clementines broccoli zucchini focaccia somebody's hungry focaccia cheese and regular some fancy cheese and really interesting i think it's like dried up cured pork loin and instead of giving change he just gave me some salami a bunch of olives and of course wine i think atlas is helping some of that uh ham drops down on the floor mm -hmm.